For Mrs. Grant Staten III, life was a cruise. Until the night, she went for a swim. Stop, you idiot! Oh, my hair! Joanna! Her mother is in shock. Only one for breakfast! Her husband is in mourning. <laughs> that was a clip from the 1987 <laughs> classic Overboard, starring the great Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. Russell playing a carpenter who convinces Hawn, an heiress with amnesia, that she is his wife. Now, 31 years later, this romantic comedy is coming back to life with a bit of a twist. Joining me now in the Fox Light host, Michael Tamero. Michael, great to see you. Good to see that you. That was one of the classics. One it of the all time great. greats. So tell us about the remake. You know, I was getting a little nervous when they start doing this. It's, it's sweet. Yeah. It's definitely not as good as the first one. It stars uh, Anna Faris as sort of the, uh, uh, the down on her luck. A person. The roles are sort of reversed in this one. Eugenio Derbez play, plays sort of is plays the Mexican millionaire playboy who falls hard for <laughs> yeah. Anna Faris's character who's struggling to make ends meet. It'll probably pull in about ten million dollars at the box office this weekend. Not a big number. Nothing's probably going to catch up to Avengers fin Infinity Wars at this point, which is poised to cross the billion dollar mark. Uh, either today or tomorrow as it opens up in Russia. Call Robert Mueller. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's opening up in Russia. Uh, and, and Anna Faris stars in the remake, as you said, pulling out the big guns. You want yes. to take a look at a clip? Let's. Let's do that. I don't know what day it is. I don't even know my own name. Amnesia in our little town. That's him. I have an idea that is poetic in its justice. I'm here to pick up my husband. You're really my wife? For better or worse, baby. <laughs> and Anna Faris is just very lovable. I mean, there's something about her. She has that it factor for sure. Like Goldie Hawn. Like Goldie Hawn. Like the original. Okay, so the new Overboard taking on Avengers Infinity War at the box office this weekend. You said you don't know that it's going to actually uh, uh, cut into it. Probably a distant second at this point, yes. How about today being Star Wars yes. Day? Tickets go on sale for the newest installment, Solo. The movie hits theaters. Uh, let's see, we get some props. Oh, Thank boy. you, Matt. What can we expect from this? Uh, th this Nothing like uh, a lightsaber on a Friday morning. Uh, Star Wars fans. <laughs> May the fourth be with you. Yeah. That's the, that's that's the actual word. holiday, Maria. You know, it was first uttered back on May 4th, 1979, when Margaret Thatcher took office. Right. Oh, and wow. And it's taken on. It's become a big thing for... Guys, I got to play with our lightsabers. Just another <laughs> excuse, once again. Do we um, know anything about, I mean, and that, not to give anything too important away, but do we know anything about how this is going to be different? I mean, this is one of the few spin outs of just one, one character. It's an origin solo. story. It's yeah, about, original it's story. About, right? uh, the original Han Solo story, how he met Chewbacca. Chewbacca plays a big part in this, finally. <laughs> <laughs> and as part of May the 4th, Lucasfilm is, has started this whole charity uh, roar for change. So if anyone goes online and posts their version of the Chewbacca roar, okay. Lucasfilm will donate a uh, dollar for every like on social media. Oh, very today cool. And donate it to UNICEF. So Hey, I'm sorry. Once you turn this thing on, it never stops It never talking. goes off. <laughs> <laughs> Michael DeMero, may the fourth be with you. You know the mighty lightsaber, Maria Bartiromo. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this is about what you do with it. This I is how so, you yeah. play. Okay. That's <laughs> Thank you so much, Michael Tavero.